what, what am I supposed to do? It's over. I'm calling up the ceremony. No, no, I don't understand. Well, your father doesn't love me. He's still in love with Catherine. He's still in love. I want, you to, I want you to tell me what happened. Mom, why do you think that Papa is still in love with Catherine? I saw them. I saw them kissing. Oh, how, how do you know that um, that Papa was kissing her? Maybe she, she just grabbed him no, and No, no, no. Catherine came to me and she told me that she was going to fight for Martin. And then... And then she said, she said they had just made love and oh. that the scratches were on Mar Martin's back to prove it. Uh, okay. Do you think that she's telling you the truth? I didn't want to believe it. I wanted to have faith in your father. I did. But then I saw him without his shirt on and the... The scratches were on his back. Mama, why do you think that he would do this? Well, I'm not, I'm not sure he did. Uh, he said that Catherine... Well, she tried to seduce him. Emma, that he resisted. Okay. But, Mama, you... Just said you saw the scratch marks on yeah, his I know, back. I know. He said that she put him there. But then I, I, I spoke to Father Lonigan, and he said that um, he seemed to believe that that Martin was telling the truth. He seemed to believe. That. Yeah, well, I, I assume that he heard Martin's confession, and that's that's why he knew. Have you talked to Papa, Mama? Well, I was on my way to see him, to confront him, to get the truth once and for all. That's when I saw them. Catherine was in his arms, and your father was kissing her, and nobody was forcing him to do anything. I know what I saw. There's a... He's still in love with her. He'd rather be with his whore than with his own wife. <laughs> Your father would rather be with his whore. Teresa, that's all there is to it. Mama, you don't know that for sure. Yes, I do, me. I'm sure. Trust me. I'm sorry. After everything you've been doing for me for the ceremony, but I just can't go through with it right now. It would feel like a sham, like a lie. Look, um, I just, I don't understand why Papa would even go through with the ceremony at all if he didn't love you. Because I think he thought he was doing the right thing. And I don't want to be the woman in his bed and not the woman in his heart. I won't lie in bed every night wondering if he's thinking about her. I won't. I want him out of my life for good this time, Teresa. Uh, I, I don't. I don't believe you. What don't you believe? I. I know that you are angry. I know that you are hurting. But I know you love him, Mama, and I know that you want to be with him. What does it matter, Teresa? He doesn't want me. Yes. Yes, he does. He does. And I want you to listen to me, Mama, very carefully because I'm going to tell you what you have to do. <laughs> My advice is simple, Mama. Okay. You don't give up. Do not let Catherine intimidate you into handing over Papa to her. Okay? You fight for him. Yeah. But how can I get his? Well, you pull yourself together, for starters. You take a few deep breaths. You march into that room. You, you say those vows to Papa. You remarry him tonight. You don't give up. I don't know. I don't know if I could do that. It would be like a lie. I, I feel like if I look at Martin, all I'll see is him kissing Catherine. Okay. Look, you just got to put that out of your head. And I know that it hurts. 
Mama, I know better than anyone how it feels. <laughs> you know, when I think of Ethan and Gwen, it's like, um, it's like a knife in my heart. Okay, but I put the image out of my head. I don't let that stop me. If I could get Ethan back right now, I would take him back in a heartbeat. And you can do that. You can just, um, take that picture out of your head of him making love to another woman. Yes. Because I love him. Now, Mama, you gotta think of all those years that you waited, Papa. <laughs> You know, those prayers that you made? <laughs> All the sacrifices that you told God you would make if only he would return Papa safely to you. And you know what? He has. Papa is here. And he is yours. I want you to go through with that ceremony and don't let anyone get in your way. <laughs> I have to do the right thing. I will not hurt Pilar again. I have an obligation to her, a duty. Is that what I am? Is that all I am? An obligation? You are remarrying me because you feel it's your duty? 